You know, I'm from Jersey, and sometimes we just have to get things off our chest. Their occupation is play. <laughs> so why don't we just let them play? What can I say? When you're really passionate, you're really passionate. Hi, this is Amy Baez, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Play It Be, coming from my home to yours with an episode of Amy's Affirmations. Today, I want to bring up a special affirmation. And this subject may be a little bit controversial, but I think we can all be on the same page with this. And this is your affirmation for today. Let kids be kids. <laughs> I know, shocking. Such a controversial thing to say but that's not exactly what I consider controversial. What I want to talk to you about is a video that has become viral, at least in the Florida circuit right now, and it is a video of a teacher, a preschool teacher of three-year-olds who showed a video of teaching their, uh, her students how to spell their names on command. And, you know, this teacher is getting a, a lot of praise lately in the news, and you know what? I commend her for putting forth an effort and being really enthusiastic and involved with her students because we don't see that every day. But what concerned me about this video, and, and I use the word concerned strongly, because I found this video to, to be honest, to be quite sad. And the reason why is because I have noticed over the years a trend of preschools really putting a lot of pressure on young children to produce skills that are above their age level. And this teacher in particular said she really wanted to see her kids excel. And I get it. I understand what she's trying to do. And it can be very noble, but I don't know if it's necessarily helpful to those children. And so, you know, I thought about sharing this video on, on this video so that you can see what I'm talking about. But to be honest, I don't want to promote it. I, I have a real hard time watching children be put under pressure like that. And, and you know, there are some kids who can really excel really easily in a situation like that. But... For the most part, I feel like it's a slippery slope. And what we start to see is that we're asking kids to do these types of skills in other areas. You know, what you will notice when you're teaching a child in that sort of way where you're, you're teaching them one skill over and over and over again until they're able to do it, it may instill a little bit of pride in some of those children for a short period of time because they were able to accomplish a task. But what it really does is not really promote a natural learning experience. You're teaching them a rote skill, which they cannot necessarily reproduce and, and perform in and transfer into other skills. And so what would be much better is if you just took a very playful approach to learning and have them learn their name more naturally. You know, why not just play with them with a set of blocks and have their name um, spelled out with different letters and teach them in that way. You know, um, maybe the teacher did do this. I don't know. It didn't share that in the video. What it did show was that a teacher was asking their children, the child on command in a drill sergeant kind of way. And, you know, I just don't think the teacher should be drill sergeants. And so what I want you to remember as a parent and even if you're listening as an educator, is that it's not necessary for us to make sure that kids are excelling. You know, we, we want them to be doing well. Yes, we do. And we do want them to eventually excel. But at three years old, we just want them to be happy, right? We want them to be happy and learning and engaging in their environment in a very natural way. And that way, is through play. You know, so my affirmation today is let kids be kids. Let them play. That is their job. 
That is their occupation as a child is to play and they are going to learn how to how to do all these other skills that you want them to do much more naturally when they have the foundation to do it. You know, when I when I work with children, I wait as long as I can till about the age of 5 before I will start to teach them how to do things like write their name because I know that when they're ready, they will pick it up very quickly. But if I have them do it too early, they struggle. And they, you know, kids are smart. They subconsciously know that they are having difficulty at an activity. And that does not make them feel good about themselves. You know, I want kids to feel confident. I want them to feel encouraged and, and have a love for learning. And if we treat them like drill sergeants, they are not going to grow up that way. You know, there are some kids who can survive in this manner, but others will drown. And I use this analogy a lot. When you teach children to swim, you do not throw them in the deep end of the pool. And that is what I feel like sometimes preschools are doing right now. They are putting children in the deep end of the pool and expecting them to, to be able to swim all around without any help. And I've talked about this before in other videos. There are consequences to having children learn how to write too soon. And we don't really want to encourage that, especially because children do not have the developmental skills from their brains, from their bodies, from their hands, everything, their eyes are not prepared for the skill, especially at three years old. Even at four years old for most kids, it is too much for them. They are just learning how to draw shapes and just hold something that more naturally. And they're just learning how to color and that is what they're supposed to be able to do. So why are we pushing children so early in their development to produce these skills. It does not show that this helps them in the long run. So why do we think that it's important? Why are we putting so much emphasis on this? You know, there's a lot of kids that they end up having to retrain how to write as they're older because they were taught too early at a young age. And we don't really want to see them in therapy for something like that. It is such an important topic. I have this conversation so often and I, I just feel like we cannot keep cheering on and promoting people who are pushing children to their limits. You know, there are other ways for children to learn that are much better for them and much more nourishing and loving and kind. And I feel like that is what we need to be with children. We need to be nurturing and loving and kind. And if we do that in a playful way, they will learn and they will excel naturally. And you do not need to push them um, or embarrass them really um, when they cannot perform on command. And if you feel the same way, or maybe you don't, I love for you to share your thoughts in the comments below. I like to hear from you. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. But we all have an opinion to share and this is a nice conversation for us to have and it is a very important one. So I hope that you contribute. In the meantime, I want you to check out all the other information and videos that we have at playofkey.com. You can also subscribe to this channel and I hope you have a playful day.